What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. I um, hope everybody's having a good day. Guys, I got a good one for you guys today. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I stumbled on this by accident. I was going through some Opportunity uh, Rover pictures, and I believe this is from Sol 1613, and I'm going to show you where you can get it, which is right here. And there you go. It's a navigation camera, Sol 1613. Okay, you can click on this image, and there's a big, large outcropping of rock here. Um, yeah, it, it's there's quite a bit in this picture. But I also have another picture that shows the top of this rock. But the interesting thing, what I like, is right here in this platform or just flat part of this uh, ridge. And it looks like a biological entity. It looks like some kind of something that was living. And I use the term was because it looks like it's dead. But to me, this blew my mind because I'm just looking at this thing going, what is this thing? Uh, <laughs> watch this. It looks like some kind of bird, um, some kind of, I mean, you can just see by looking at this thing. I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up a little bit, expose it up here a little bit, get rid of this. Okay, I'm looking at this thing, and if you look at this part here, it looks like it's got like tail feathers, like a V-shaped tail feather kind of thing. Might be a wing with its neck broken, and it's like up underneath, and maybe the other wing you just can't see it. Or, and, and I, I try to analyze this because I'm looking at it from different views like or is it possible the way the sun's hitting because you can see some shadowing right here or some the shadows here but the sun's just peeking over these rocks now look at this right here on this platform i said okay well perhaps that's what's going on maybe this whole thing right here actually goes straight and it's one straight thing you know animal call it what you will i don't know but clearly it doesn't look like a rock and if the sun was shining on it wouldn't this whole flat area be also this color with the sun shining on it. So that kind of blew my mind. And I'm going to show you something a little bit more in depth too. And I'm going to get right back to that in a second. But what I wanted to show you guys is if you guys look at the top of this rock area, you're just going to go, what is this? This is bizarre as hell. Because not only is there look like stone carving things, but it also looks like some kind of maybe some mechanical things. Not sure. But most of it looks to me like stone carvings of some sort. Um, and some things thrown in that look like uh, could be metal, what have you. Um, Right here alone, this like this little piece right here, kind of comes around. It's like symmetrical. It just goes around, has this piece in the middle. I don't know if it's protruding or if it's just a circle, like a meaning a cutout in the middle of it. But it has what looks like a kind of like things going off of it. Like if you were to draw like a sun with like rays coming off of it around the edges, it kind of looks like that. It has like these weird edges or something like that. But it's it's symmetrical. It's definitely symmetrical. This I didn't think of anything of. I didn't think of anything of this right here, but it looks like some kind of stone block. And I'm going to show you a different view of that in a minute. Um, this right here, down here, looks like some kind of carving of a, like a monkey or some kind of uh, chimpanzee or something like that. It's just, unless it's a larger piece of something else. But if you look to the left, if you tilt your head to the left, you can see it looks like it's, like it's got eyebrows. Comes down here, has two little round circles, like it could be the eyes. Maybe the mouth sticking out right here. I mean, it's clearly not a rock formation. It looks like some kind of weird carving. Now, I don't know, again, if it's something larger, because it kind of looks like it goes like this and then slopes down right to here. So I'm not sure what that is, but that kind of stood out to me right there. There's some other pieces right here, which I thought was kind of odd, like really smooth in nature. Pieces coming down like this here. Right there, this is just... I mean, it's just like these straight edge things. It's almost like whatever was at the top of this hillside or mountain ridge, um, it, it just collapsed. I mean, whatever it was, it's clearly there. And like I said, I'm going to show you this right here in a moment. It's definitely a better view. And to be honest with you guys, you're going to see the mountainside. Is, there's a lot of different things. In other words, you don't see this. I'm going to show you the other picture. You don't see this piece right here at all. But you do see this. It looks like a, a this weird little hippo with an eye, the head, and then it's a little stumpy little thing with no, <laughs> no front legs. But... Um, I, I, yeah, this up here, I mean, I, is it a piece of fabric? Is it a, is it just stone or is it some other material? It's, but it looks flat in nature and it just has this weird, it has a shadowing here. You can see the shadow coming off from the sun. So right there is what's causing the shadow. But what is that? Um, there's just two or three other things. There's one, where did that thing go? Right here. It has this weird, like, disc-shaped thing. 
And of course, I don't know if this is overhanging, this grayish block, rectangular block, whatever this thing is. I don't know if it's protruding out of the center of it and just coming out, or if it's kind of dangling in the way and it's kind of blocking the view of it. I don't know, but you can clearly see that's some kind of weird disc thing, and it's got a nice shape to it. See it? Like, like a little triangle cut out here, but has this weird... I don't know. It's the details of it that just kind of blow your mind. How about this thing here? I mean, just take a good look at this thing, and you just look for details. Look at this right here, this whole object right here. It appears it's like it's rounded, okay, and it's stuck between these rocks, and God knows that they're even rocks. But right here, and it goes into a smaller section, and then another smaller section. But whatever it is, and of course you can't see what it is because it's completely blocked out. Um, but, I mean, there's just things in this picture that you just can't go, help but to go, just look at these little fine details, and it just, you know, I'm going to go ahead and clear up just a little bit more so we can, now you can see that a hair bit better. And it progressively goes down smaller, see it, until it gets to the bottom. Now, again, I don't know what these things are, but, I mean, look at these. This goes down from here. It's like it got a round area with a black circle, and it comes down, and it goes down to here. I don't believe all of this is actually mountain and rock. I believe it's been doctrined up. And I'm going to show you the other picture that's from this same area. Um, it's the same outcrop. It's the same, well, I shouldn't say outcrop. It's a giant mountain ridge, supposedly. But again, here's that disc. Now it's a little bit clearer. This is the reason why I'm going back over it, because I want to show you a little bit clearer. I had forgotten to hit that smart shop and then go, go that extra step for you guys. But right here. Okay, and this, like I said, I don't know if, if this is a piece of fabric, a piece of steel, but look how smooth that is. It's like... And it looks like it's kind of like flopped on these rocks kind of thing. I don't know. This right here on the right of that. Got this weird kind of going down thing and coming up. Is it another stone carving of some sort? Um, I don't know. Here's that little, what looks like that monkey kind of carving in the... In that rock area. Come down here. I mean, even this here, I mean, it looks like this kind of weird... They don't look like just rock shapes for some reason to me. They just they look like something mechanical in nature. I don't know. Uh, this may be carved or it might be a part of something else. <clears throat> I mean, you can just see like intricate little pots like right here. Like this U-shaped little thing here. It's just things that just flat out don't make any sense. But this to me, and even this to the left of it, looks like this weird, like, is it a hieroglyph of some sort or some kind of carving? Or was it a coloring of some, like a ancient painting kind of thing. I don't know. Even to on the right of this, it looks like some kind of weird hieroglyph. And you can see where it's nice and smooth goes around like this hair and looks like an eye, almost like a picture of a frog kind of thing. But I'm not saying that's what it is, of course, but that's what it looks like when you look at the eye and then the face of it, the mouth right there. But what this is, I couldn't tell you. It's kind of like this and it looks like it kind of goes down the length of this, but you really can't make out what it is. All right. Now I want to show you guys something because this is pretty wild. Now I invert this for the heck of it to try to bring this out a little bit more to see if I can see anything different about it that wouldn't show in a normal picture. And it still looks like, I don't know if this is, like I said, it's got that weird tail, whatever this thing is, and then it kind of, I don't know if it goes like this under and then it comes back over, and that this long piece here would be actually flopped out straight if it wasn't bent like it is. So I'm saying, okay, is it possible it's a stone? Well, that's a good possibility. Um, is it possible, you know, it's just a trick of the eye? Oh, anything's possible, but I want to show you something that's going to kind of like, eh, you know, throw that theory out the window because what I did was I tried to find um, this this same outcropping. I'm going to back up a little bit for you guys. I tried to back up. And tr I, I, I needed to try to go backwards either in the sols or go forward. So what I did was I said, okay, well, I went a few days ahead and I went a few days behind. Couldn't find it. Until I went back to Saul 1607. So you go, okay. So uh, you're talking six days later. This picture is here. Here's the picture prior to that. It's nowhere to be found. And I'm going to jump back and forth of this. Look at the way this right here is, this little platform. Okay, now it's, it's slightly left or to the right. Now watch what happens. I'm going to switch back and forth. And I'm going to bring this up just so we can try to match the size. Okay. It's nowhere to be found. That object is not there. And you know it's the same one because if you look at these cracks in the rocks above it, and then you get this main one right here, and of course you've got this, it looks like a weird funky seven in there, but you can see it's the same rocks. I mean, it's the same ridge. Look at it. But that thing's nowhere to be found. 
Now, this is a little distorted as well, but this looks like it just has a small rock there, and there's nothing else there. But yet, there it is. Now, the sun is different. It looks like it's just coming up over this mountain, where on the other picture, this one here, it looks like it's been over here, like it's over the top almost, and you can see where it's more well lit. So that, you know, we kind of get that. But th this object is not here. So is it possible this thing is some kind of weird bird and just flew into the rock and just <laughs> just happened to drop there? I mean, is it some other... It's To me, it's some kind of living biological life form. Well, it may not be alive now, but it was. Um, here's the other thing I want to show you, too. That rock right here. Here's what I was talking about, this weird... Almost looks like this... Uh, looks like a stone casket kind of thing. Look at this. It's right here. goes all the way to here, here, and then back. And then it drops down right here. But this is another thing, too. You don't see... This is that weird... <laughs> I call it like this weird hippo thing. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that's right here. Because this was this was actually pretty bizarre to me. Um, right here. Okay. I'm going to go back to this. Right here, I call it that weird, funky, little stubby hippo without legs, front legs. But right there... It's nowhere in this picture. And you can go back and forth to these, and you will not find that. Right here, it's there. This is the picture you're going to get. You're going to get both of these. I'm going to make sure you got them both. But here's that little hippo thing. Where's that object? It's nowhere to be found. And if it is, it may be because it's just blurred, and I didn't do anything in this picture. That's a possibility. But clearly, it's this thing. Now, this thing is, all you see is this right here and this picture. Right there. So whatever this is, this is clearly intelligently made stuff. Now, you know, to be like that, come on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool stuff there. I mean, I I like that. Um, the fact that, I mean, you can see these just the way these are cut out. This doesn't look like it's naturally made. So, and like I said, this disc here. Now, what I did here is I highlighted this here uh, in kind of like a blue thing so you guys can get an idea what this looks like. Now, to me, guys, tell me what you think. I mean, I'm seeing in the other picture it showed what looked like a rock. And then when you go back to it, and like I said, it's just nowhere to be found. I, I don't know. And like I said, you guys will get both of these pictures. I got rid of the other one by accident, but as you may have noticed. But it really doesn't matter because here's, the, here's that, that uh, ridge or the flat platform, call it what you will. Um, it's right there. And it's nowhere to be found. It's just not there. But in this one, it is. Now, keep in mind, this is only six days later, and this thing's sitting on this flat platform of this rock. Oh, I, yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm all over these pictures. I'm going to, you know, I've been, I've got some on my hard drive, but I've been looking at more on, on site, on the, on the site itself, on NASA JPL. So I'm going through these things, you know, just looking for things. These things just kind of popped out. I mean, heck, you can just look at this picture right here. Look at this. Some kind of weird thing right here on the, on the top of this rock. Uh, I mean, just look at the details. I mean, some of these things just come popping right out at you, and you just don't know what this stuff is. I don't believe all that this is a rock. And what I mean by that is I believe it's a, some kind of mountain, um, rocky mountain kind of thing. And I don't mean like huge mountain, because you can clearly see you can probably walk right over to this, and it's really not that big. And I'm only zoomed in 100%. I believe this comes in 66.7, which it does right here. Here's the original, 66.67%. Um, um, but this is not very far away. You can literally walk up to this and probably pick that thing right off the platform. So this rocky outcropping or whatever it is, I don't believe it's it's 100% legit or real because some things that appear there are not. Um, and you can actually do a comparison once you get both of these vid uh, these pictures. Rather, you can compare these. These don't even make sense. Um, this right here is a little bit different. You'll find uh, this right here is a little different. And what it looks like is it's some kind of weird little thing sticking out. Look at this. Well, you won't be able to see it too good here, but... Right here, and it has this round circle thing type thing in it right here. This rock will change. I mean, there's a whole lot of things in this picture that just change. It just don't make any sense. Now, is it possible it's just by angle and lighting? That's a good possibility. Uh, I'm open to that. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think this stuff is, because clearly... There's something wild going on here. And I'm going to just go ahead and zoom in one last time because I know a lot of you guys, and I totally forgot that you guys are using the phones and uh, tablets and so on and so forth. I'm going to zoom right in. Um, you guys can tell me what you think that is. It's, you know, like I said, it does have this weird kind of V-shaped tail fin kind of thing. Is it possible this thing's head's underneath and that's just a wing and you don't see the other? 
Or is this actual object, it's actually supposed to be stretched out forward like this, and just like some kind of weird funky worm with a V-shaped tail? I, I don't know. But clearly it is not a rock, unless it is and fell off the top of this mountain. But it looks, it doesn't look, it looks biological in nature to me. It doesn't look like a, like a rock, but who knows at this point. Um, it's clearly not there six days earlier. Like I said, in the Sol 1,607, it's not there. Now, in this one, it is. And this is uh, 1,613. So, anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know. I don't want to make this too long. But, like I said, I'm all over these pictures. I've been kind of randomly jumping through these and uh, see what we can pull out. Uh, a lot of them, you won't find anything. I mean, you know, if I don't find anything in these pictures, I just throw them aside. There's no sense in trying to make stuff up. If it's in the picture, I, uh, I see what looks like there's something in it. I'll bring it to you guys. And, of course, we analyze it and see what's in there and what's not. Or what we think they are. So, Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, I have a couple more of them coming up pretty soon. And uh, we can go from there. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you next pick.